Hello everybody, uh, my name is Kim and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so for today's topic, I will talk a little bit about my journey, how I did become a software developer in 2021. Uh, so as you know, there's a lot of things has changed during the pandemic and a lot of people want to design to make a career switch pretty similar to what I did. Uh, previously, I was an IT auditor at the insurance company. I graduated in 2019 in Canada, where which had a degree in actual science and accounting. Um, so after working in the field for like two years, I uh, figured out that I really like coding and I started to take a switch a career to a, become a software engineer. Um, that is my goal for this year. But um, I was lucky that I become a software is pretty fast, like in a couple months. I would definitely say it's quite a challenge for me. And also it's give me a lot of uh, encouragement to share about my journey with everyone today. So a little bit uh, before I decide to want a developer, I hesitate a lot um, whether I'm going to be a this career gonna be a good fit for me. I didn't go to a university like for four years being a computer science student. But after that, I when I make a decision, I decided that, yeah, I need to do a step back and go back to for a bootcamp actually. So I take around three to four month uh, developer bootcamp. Uh, during period of time, it was really challenging because I was on my own and I didn't have a lot of uh, knowledge about computer science. I know a little bit about Python at the beginning uh, from my previous job and some SQL. Uh, however, during that bootcamp, I decided I um, ditched myself. I take a bootcamp in the morning, but in the evening, I do a lot of practice in JavaScript, such as I go to free code camp and do a lot of JavaScript fundamental question. Uh, so at the moment, I was a uh, most junior uh, full stack developer at a startup uh, in Toronto right now. So there's a, a couple of languages currently I'm working at the startup is React, which is um, for a web developer and React Native, which is specifically for mobile app developer. And uh, the backend, I work in Python uh, using the Django as a framework. So a little bit of both. I would definitely say I'm still at the beginner level of the journey, but usually what during my five to six month bootcamp uh, after I quit my job is that uh, I would schedule in the morning, I would go to bootcamp like five to six hour. And in the evening, I really commit myself to understand the fundamental of JavaScript such as what is an array, what is uh, a list in Python, and what is the function that we, or method that we use to uh, work on the array. So it's a pretty challenging because I didn't go for a specific class for the fundamental, but really just taking a lot of time off and give myself a really good motivation. So one of the points that I would like to mention is that if you decide to make a switch to become a software engineering, uh, there's three things that you need to be really, um, really be careful about is first, if you can make a commitment to switch to a career. Uh, second, are you financially prepared to make that switch? Because uh, not working for three to four months for some individual is uh, really challenging uh, without have uh, working as a part-time job or anything. So during that period of transition, I, I didn't work anywhere. I just focused on the study. And the third is the persistence in the learning process. It could be really frustrating and you might feel like you want to give up every single day, but um, it's turned out that I can do it and hopefully one day you will be able to make a career switch as well. Uh, so I do have, uh, there's some question of the audience that asking about, so being a developer, do we need to know a lot about object, 
oriented programming data structure algorithm ultra software development i definitely say yes um, so whenever you apply to a company for a software development job you need to pass their whiteboard coding interview so basically that expected candidate would be know a lot about data structure some simple uh, question and how to work on the coding the fundamental coding you can choose some of the language such as data uh, sorry javascript python usually and java so if you are a person who didn't go to any computer science college you definitely think it's javascript and python is those two most popular language that can be used in the interview question uh, to the second question that I get is what do you do as a web developer so in my current job I am a web developer um, like 30% so mainly as a junior developer you will there will be a Jira ticket um, you will there will be an assignment of what you're gonna be working on for example uh, if you click a button, that button need to navigate to a page on the website. So those are the simple types of uh, assignment that a um, junior member usually get and how the user can sign in, sign up, uh, forget password. Uh, those are the most basic um, types of work that I do every single day. And second question that I do there's not a lot of uh, female being a developer I would definitely say yes in my current team when I first joined I'm a the, I'm the only female on the team but that's okay um, there's a lot of advantage being a, uh, a female developer also is first of all you are pretty unique to the team and second that you definitely learn a lot about how to collaborate with other team members uh, usually in the team structure we are really multicultural uh, very well diverse team some people from another country either in the state or in from canada or maybe some from another city uh, in canada or other country maybe brazil or russia as well and i don't think being a female would definitely is um, disadvantage uh, if you're willing to learn you're willing to be a uh, commit to yourself being a developer I think that's definitely you can do it second the third question that I got is um, can you maintain a work-life balance being a developer um, I think uh, some you definitely can maintain a wealth life balance as well usually Normal, the, more, the normal work schedule is from 9 to 5, sometimes to 6 or 7, depends when the deadline is. Um, yeah, working is definitely challenging in the first couple of months because you learn a lot and you're still very new to the code base and stuff. But definitely, um, I, I usually take a lot of good rest on Saturday and Sunday before the week started. Um, that is work-life balance I think is about how you managing this if you feel really burnt out or at the work you need to communicate that with um, your leader so they are aware of that issue and maybe take one or two days off would really helpful to give yourself some um, some rest as well and if you like coding I think being developer is really fun because you were able to um, working new things every single day you're constantly learning every day um, if there's a lot of bug and what if I cannot fix it being a um, junior developer I definitely say this is um, pretty normal being a developer because the nature of the job is solving the problem right so usually my approach is I try to understand the problem and try to fix it on my own for like a couple hours if i cannot uh, figure out where's the issue i definitely communicate with my uh, team lead and asking for some guidance uh, 
uh, what I should next and what is the right approach for the bug that I see in day to day. Sometimes the bug can be life cycle or sometimes uh, some some other team member might just delete a live code which may um, make the life cycle of the app is not working properly. So those are really a day to day what that we need to face and try to fix it as well. Um, the final question that I have is, should I be a developer? Because it usually ha- generate a really high income compared to uh, being an accountant or in finance field. I definitely say um, 50 to 60% accurate if you choose a career that is give you a really high income, but you don't really like it then there's no point chasing it as well. Um, Definitely the advantage being developer is the entry level income usually is higher than in the finance or in the banking. But there's also there's a lot of learning uh, during being a developer. You constantly need to learn every single day. Even if you may know the code, but then when you look back again, you still need a lot of research skill, looking what is solution to the issue in the in the app or in the web. Definitely life balance is good. Um, but the time commit at the beginning to become a de- developer, I would definitely say is really intense. Um, I really push myself at the beginning when I try to become a developer. Uh, for example, instead of usually p- you just like study eight hours a day, you might feel burnt out. But sometimes I just code from nine o'clock to ten every single day. Um, no day off on Saturday and Sunday. I didn't go out those time, so it's extremely intense. So I kind of shorten my time frame uh, before I uh, looking for a job is pretty quickly. Um, so those hours, not only you learn as you go, but you need to build your GitHub project. Uh, being a developer, you need a GitHub project to show what you have accomplished. Maybe it's a simple project to say, these are the web page that I built during my um, learning period. It can be an introduction side about yourself how you code and what kind of programming language do you use. So I think those uh, when you apply for a job, usually recruiter or the people from the the tech company, they will look at your GitHub and kind of do a preliminary assessment about your uh, level as well. So I think those are pretty important. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I This is all my journey. I am... Um, really exciting this year I make a huge accomplishment being a developer and even feel even great that my company give me a lot of chance to work on different difficult tasks and work on easy tasks so I upgrade my skill every single day yeah so if you like my channel please like and subscribe to my uh, channel for further update about tech and uh, yeah, I'm really, lo- if you have any uh, question, just give me, leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for visit my YouTube channel and thanks for uh, having, taking your time looking, um, yeah, very first couple channel and how to make a career switch uh, in 2021. Thank you guys.